Good morning, today we are filming back here at Carrier Family Farms and today we're just gonna run over what the last shipment report looked like, uh, what we're seeing in the market and what we expect to see going forward. And fortunately for us, we'll start with some of the good things first, is rain. We've been getting plenty of rain, which as you've all seen from earlier news reports and much of our bemoaning over the summertime, uh, we really need this rain to help fill the depletion in our water reservoirs. So that's been good. And our forecast looks like continued rain moving forward. Yeah, and I just, I read a article stating that We've already received more water, more rainfall than we had did the entire last year, but the, the storage of water isn't able to capture that all because the rains come very quickly. Uh, well, fortunately, I did see that we're getting some snow, so the snow help us out later in the season when it starts to melt off and we can continue to fill those reservoirs. And uh, another good item is that we have seen specifically walnuts reaching more of an international news with regards to shipping and the stockpiling that is happening because we're not able to ship walnuts out. Um, there was a really good article on Yahoo News that went nationwide and then the other morning driving into work I also heard the radio mention specifically walnuts and the problems that delayed shipping has been causing for agriculture. Yeah and then fortunately for us here at Carrier Family Farms we've seen the highest number of shipments crop here to date uh, that we've ever had in our history at Carrier Family Farms. So despite those shipping challenges, we've been working really hard to get make sure we get those containers out on time to our customers um, and just really push through the challenges we're facing today. Yeah, really kudos to our shipping team. They've been amazing like, with everything that's been thrown at them this year. Um, and speaking of shipments, unfortunately, our shipping report did not fare so well as Carrier Family Farms has. We saw a um, tremendous decrease in inshell, and that is worrisome for our entire industry because there's a lot of handlers and packers that only do inshell. So where does that leave those packers? Uh, essentially going to end up shelling that volume and probably make its way into the kernel market, um, which has been doing okay recently as far as shipments go, but we still have a long way to get to the end of the year. And you know, a lot of a lot of buyers know that the market hasn't been as stable as they'd like to see it, so they haven't committed out full term. So there's still buying to be done that we get to participate in. It'll just be a matter of which shipping period those walnuts will leave the US in. And then uh, shifting gears a little bit, uh, COVID has kind of made a little bit of a comeback in our news here in California. And although we haven't seen any increases here at the plant we're really thankful for that but there is that that ongoing COVID situation lingering and we really don't know how that's going to play out going forward. Correct. If um, this new variant comes in and does something unforeseen or unexpected we could find ourselves you know, shutting back down again you know not being able to attend the shows or be able to receive customers for visits. Like and speaking of shows uh, Carrier Family Farms will be attending the PTNPA, provided any unforeseen <laughs> travel delays. And we strongly encourage you, if you are a member of the PTNPA, to join us in the Charity Nut Run. All the proceeds for that run go to Rise Against Hunger, so it's absolutely fantastic uh, way to donate. And we're not saying you have to run. Trust me, I will be walking the 5K. But we do encourage you, please join us there. And as always, thank you guys for watching our monthly updates. If anybody has any questions, comments, or interest, please reach out. Thank you. Um, the logo is kind of sprouting out of your head. Mine? Yeah. Crochambo? <laughs> yeah. Got three rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Do it. <laughs> I got green, you got introduction. All right. Perfect. <laughs> I'm turning red. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>